So, somewhere between like 6, 6, 0, 9, I'd have to check just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm, I'm starting the top and the descent down our driveway. And before I lose Wi-Fi signal, I message Voldemort and tell him I'm heading down early so I can mess around with the flowers. And um, I'll just, you know, mess around with those till he gets there. Even though I knew at that point it'd be like almost half an hour. And so, um, at that point, I, I'm hearing Candace calling for summer. Before I'm all the way down, I know that there's been more than three calls. After three calls, I just, my gut said, no. Because I'd never known if summer really... You know, like, and as a mother, you know, right? Um, usually at third call, and the sternest tone brings them in, <laughs> right? So, by that third or so call, I knew, and my mom went click, click, click. With the sound I heard, I personally just assumed those things went together almost immediately. And it is not my job to make of what I heard, what they heard, or to say that that was any, anybody for certain, right? And I, it's not my job. All I know is what I can speak on but I can't be like, oh, 100% this, 100% that, 100% whatever. And I'm not going to do so. It's other people's jobs that are trained to do whatever that, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, it just, I'm just here to tell what our day and the events for us were like and our thoughts, feelings, and so, anyway, um, I get to the bottom of the driveway. I have my purse. Actually, it's the same one I'm still carrying. <laughs> I'm a little attached. Um, by this point, I'm starting to panic for her. I know something's wrong. I just know it. And I look across. Um, there's kind of a drop off of the piece of property that connects with Candace's on the other side of the road. And it's kind of down. And there's the creek that runs that way. Um, because it runs through both of this property and the other one. It's the main creek through Beach Creek. But it takes this weird way around through that part on that side of the road and under a tile through Ben Hill. Um, so anyway, I kind of look down to make sure Summer is not there, and then Candace is still calling. I hear the boys start, you know, calling. They're circling. I just know something's wrong. At this point, I drop my purse where I'm standing. I try calling up and screaming at Candace, and I'm already looking to let her know that I'm at the bottom. She can't hear me. And it's the way her piece of property picks up things. She could not hear me. It was not possible. I could hear her clear as day, though. At a certain point, I know trying to scream at her is wasting time. I just need to be looking for Summer. And to me, that scream, I think... I don't think, and one, I don't think, whatever. You know, I just, I don't, I don't know how to, but I look anyway. I look, um, start down towards where the tile is that the creek runs under uh, and through, passes through from this property to Candace's. 
and I look to the right even though I know that the kids never play really in the right side. It's always the left side. They kind of stay on their own and they go through. Um, but just to be sure, you know, I looked at the right. I got down my knees. I looked in the tile. Didn't see her. I start, um, hold on. 